Josh, um, you know, hearing all of that, it, it tugs at your heartstrings so much. And when when you're a prosecutor, you, you know this very well from having served in that role. You want the jury to feel something, right? You want them to feel like what we were all just feeling right now when we were watching that piece that our Court TV field team put together. Uh, tell me, how do you do that? You know, practically speaking, you know, they, they don't have the ability to put together a video montage and you can't just play a montage like that in, in a court of law. You have to do it other ways. Uh, would you give us some insight into that process, please? Yeah, absolutely heartbreaking story, isn't it? I mean, he sounds like just such a local hero and gave back to his community, his hometown, and uh, for him to meet this kind of tragic death is just really heartbreaking. But uh, the way you do it in court is you, you put these t types of folks on the stand, and hopefully uh, you are able to find folks who are able to both add to the narrative of the case to help you piece together the crime and how it was solved and why all signs point towards the defendant, but at the same time, they're able to um, flesh out and put that human emotion, that same kind of feeling that, like you said, we got watching that montage there uh, into the courtroom and help the jurors to understand the loss that this was to uh, his family and, and not only his family, but the surrounding community. And you're right, this isn't just purely for the sake of emotion. It should be uh, towards, you know, pursuing the truth in the case and pursuing justice. But at the same time, people need to understand that this was an innocent person whose life was prematurely taken in such a brutal and heartless way. Mm.